Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex, pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look in the gold market. Well, uh, gold market mostly currently is driving by the same factors as the stock market, as the forex market, so difference between different markets now, uh, well, becomes blur because uh, on the first stage stands the same uh, drivers and well, and, and, and th that make an impact in one or other degree to all markets. And I'm talking about the everything that is twisting and turning around the virus and pandemic. So um, there are two major things, as we discussed yesterday in the Forex research, uh, makes impact on the, on the currencies, but the same two things makes impact on the gold as well, or could may, make impact and probably will make impact. This is, uh, first, is uh, easing of the limitations across the board. So a lot of countries start to talk about uh, returning back to the common life and that bring some uh, optimism on the markets. Uh, second, on the background of the optimism, a lot of, uh, this, well, the common opinion right now is that safe haven assets are a bit overvalued. This relates not only to the United States dollar, but it also relates to the gold. This is short-term background that right now exists in the market. This background suggests a moderate pullback on the gold. In the longer term uh, perspective, guys, we think that it is uh, too early to celebrate, uh, not even in terms of the virus or something of that sort, but in terms of the economic statistics. So, for example, the recent data that we've got on the United States economy uh, for the first quarter, you have seen that uh, gross domestic product has dropped for approximately for the 5%. But inside these numbers, we have two normal, two good months. It's January and February before the pandemic has started. And it means that March overtaken these two months and lead the overall data for the first quarter to the negative number. What does it mean? It means that the second quarter will be much more negative than the first one because we have the on the negative side, uh, on the negative side, April, May, and probably June. It means that the second quarter numbers will be much worse than for the first quarter. We should understand that. I also uh, put the intrigue here that, well, currently the pulse of the investors suggest that we will get the non-farm program release by Friday with a minus 20 million uh, jobs created. Minus 20 million, guys. This is, well, never have been seen on the non-farm program's numbers. Well, uh, maybe it's just a joke, but uh, well, this is Raiders published in their official site. That's why uh, in the longer term, we suggest that the demand for the gold should stay. Maybe we will not see explosive uh, rally, but massive liquidity injections, inflationary uh, forecasts for economy in the three, four years suggest demand for the gold. That's our opinion too. Well, here on the video, we will talk on the short term setup. As we said, it's probably some pullback should happen. But uh, the, the problem stands that we do not know what the shape of the retracement will be. Actually, there are two possible scenarios. First, this market will hit the major target, 1770, and then starts dropping. Uh, second, it will start dropping immediately. Uh, personally, guys, I am tending to, this, to the first view that market should hit target first. Why? Because market stands on the weekly overbought for the third consecutive week. If, if it would like to turn down, it could, could do earlier on first hit of the weekly overbought, on the second hit of the weekly overbought, but somehow this hasn't happened. Usually when the market shows the reversal, starts dropping and happens in a different manner, it happens faster and sharper. But here we see mostly the consolidation at the previous top rather than the reversal. This is the first reason. Second reason is the existence of the targets that stands very close that hasn't been reached. Finally, this consolidation right around the top takes the triangle shape 
and take a look here, we, go, we have the signs of the bullish dynamic pressure. The strength has turned bearish, but price action is not as it's forming high lows. All this stuff makes me think that we should get this upward action. Invalidation point for this bullish context is the same as we said, this is these lows right here. But the taking of the long position, trading gold on the long side currently demands some courage. And if you're a conservative trader, you prefer to take position on the deeper levels when the, when the market hits uh, very strong support areas. Well, in this case, you better to wait for it when the retracement will start and watching for 1635, 1640 conference support once it will be reached. Uh, because uh, whatever scenario w w will happen, market will start dropping right to this level. If it, will ha if it will happen immediately, that's great. If it will happen after the reaching of the 1770, anyway, the retracement will be significant. And you will get your entry body a bit later. Uh, mostly, on the bullish direction, we, we were dealing with the same pattern as we discussed on Friday with the, with the butterfly. And here is its validation point. Current situation keeps very uh, small room for bearish context for bearish trading and only scenario that we see here that could be used by the bears it's maybe trying to take the place and stop sell order somewhere around these lows around 1664 1660 area uh, right here because if market will start dropping and approaching to this level that will be well well, very significant odds in the failure of the bullish setup, and it, it will suggest that probably market is moving down right now. And the stop sell order will trigger your entry right in the moment of the breakout. As a lot of stops probably stand here, you will get relatively free and uh, safe entry on the short side in the moment of the breakout of this loss by using the stop sell order, not limit, stop order. Well, that's the only scenario for the bears uh, that we see. For the bulls, if you still would like to be involved in this process and possible rally to the 1770, here we have uh, inside of this butterfly, we have large gorgeous people to buy. Well, actually, the target of this ABCD pattern uh, we already discussed on Friday and we said that probably pullback here could happen. But still, as we said, as market has broken all the support areas down on the way down here, uh, the, the bullish scenario still stands not very safe. Well, it could happen, but uh, the risk is also significant. Uh, what is good here? The good stuff is that uh, we have the cheap to buy uh, and all the stuff that we have on a daily chart. But here, what I do not like is a fast CD leg. So you can see it's much faster than AB. We have the acceleration here. Second, currently market is just has completed the harmonic upward retracement, harmonic swing. It's the same as here, but it is faster. You can see it's fast acceleration compared to this one. It means that if you would like to take the long position, you could consider two nearest FIB support levels for taking the position. Stops could be placed differently, either at least below these lows, but better to below butterfly lows. Well, because market has to turn up either right, right from here on some retracement or it will not turn up at all and we should be ready for a downward breakout. Here is the actually decisive moment for the call. Uh, that's the things that you will have to think about. So if you would like to be involved, keep, keep in mind that uh, bullish scenario um, is not really safe because we have some negative signs as well here. But market stands relatively close to the invalidation points, and that lets you to place relatively tight stop. For the conservative traders, it's better to stay aside and wait for a deep retracement. With this moderate retracement that is backed by fundamental factors will be completed. That should provide us better and good levels to take the long position on the gold market.